or would you rather <laughs> always have to wear an ascot or always have to wear Oxford shoes? Oxford shoes, easy. Easy? Oh, that's an easier one? Okay. Yeah. Fabulous. Ooh. Fabulous. Next right. one. Next one. Would you rather have a flying car or be able to breathe underwater? Hmm. I would I would prefer the flying car, but I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what what kind of car would you want? Any kind of car, but not that one. It's too it's too people would see that. Uh, you know, fair. I'd like a be more invisible, like a, you know, more light, a darker color. Okay. Maybe, maybe, you know, gray instead of blue. Pink is a bit, bit sissy. That. Okay, we can have that arranged. Yeah, we'll call someone. Car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Would you rather write and perform a 007 James Bond theme song, or write and perform a Disney film soundtrack? Oh, well, I've done a Disney film soundtrack, so oh. I'm going to go with, you know, like a, on on a, on a Herman's Hermits record called Silhouettes, as a, the guy who played the guitar on the James Bond themes, you know, that down, 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 down. His name is Vic Flick, and he played guitar on uh, Silhouettes. Da, 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 da. So mm -hmm. I'm oh, going for it. that. I would, he would show me, Vic Flick would show me how to do that. He also, he, Vic also played the, that down, down, da, da, down, da, 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 the only... Beatles music that the Beatles aren't on is Vic Flick. So I'm going to go right and perform a James, a 007 theme song. <gasps> Love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Danica. All right. Would you rather go back and share a flat with Keith Moon or go back and share a flat with Keith Richards? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe we could all move in together. That would be fun. You know, we'd get bunk, we'd put them in bunk beds. Okay. And let them fight over who gets the top top, top thing. And I'd just be like the dad over and, you know, I'd have a single bed and just look over there and go, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, boys, boys, boys. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that sounds like a great TV series. Right. Well, <laughs> Herman and the Keiths. <laughs> oh, all right. Here's the next one. <laughs> Would you rather never be able to eat fish and chips again or never be able to eat a full English breakfast again? Oh, I'd rather never be able to eat fish and chips again because look at that. that look at that. It's got tomatoes and and bacon and the English sausage and two fried <laughs> eggs over easy. Oh, I'm not sure about the black pudding, but I could, I could, really? I could get rid of those. I could push those under, I'd drop them under the table. I could so go to school and kick them <laughs> under somebody else's seat. I'll take them. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. All right. Next one. All right. Would you rather be able to speak every language or be able to play every instrument? Oof. Can I can I just be able to do one or two of them really well? I'd like to be able to speak. Um, um, I've got a couple of languages. I'd like to be able to speak Spanish, but I don't, mm. I'm not interested in anything else. I already speak Bruno German, and uh, Bruno German. Ooh. Yeah, you know, like that movie German, Bruno, where he pretends he can speak German. <laughs> so I thought that was massive close in Titan and, uh, and and you know when you say every instrument i'm not sure a tambourine is an instrument is it isn't that something you shake around and technically but oh, you gotta have the rhythm yeah, percussionist. yeah percussionist is a musician yeah okay so yeah i'd like to be able to play every musician everything except i yeah like all the ones in the picture i'd like to play Fair so enough. what am i going to be i'm going to choose to be able to play every instrument it's a good choice great awesome all right here's the next one would you rather Ooh, compete on the Great British Baking Show or compete on Strictly Come Dancing? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, well, I, I can't dance at all, but I mean, I can't dance at all. You don't know. Once somebody, once somebody said to me, and you know, John Lennon comes and I said, listen, John Lennon doesn't dance. And they go, what do you mean John Lennon doesn't dance? I said, John Lennon doesn't dance. Do you understand that? People in groups stopped dancing in 1962. <laughs> if you've got a guitar, you do not dance at the same time. 
And mm. John Lennon, if you went to a nightclub, and I did, there were lots of people dancing. He never danced. So he that's it. I'm not going to be on the come dancing because I can't dance. I could, <laughs> you know, I could stand on your feet and you could do all the steps, but I'm not doing that. So, so and, and baking. I've never, I've, I'm not, I've never been in the kitchen. Okay. You know, my mom said, get out of here. You break something. <laughs> So right. would, would I rather, I'm going to go with the baking show because I can't dance. Okay, good choice. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. All right, would you rather listen to Oh Pretty Woman on repeat or listen to Kathy's Clown on repeat for 24 hours? Huh. I think I, I think I, I think this time I'm going with Kathy's Clown because it's such i got such fun. You know, I really love Roy Orbison and everything, but my sister used to play his records on repeat for 24 hours. <laughs> you know, and, and, and you know, we, we would hear Roy Orbison and he'd go, uh, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. And it wasn't. And then he'd go, it's over. <laughs> and my dad Lies. Would the desk, Thank Christ for that. <laughs> and... <laughs> his words uh, so Roy Orbison I'm done done with I love Roy Orbison you know I, I I right before he died I went we did a, a gig together in Calgary and um and he he, he was so he had a, a strawberry milkshake and a cheeseburger and everything it's just perfect and then uh, I got such great fun memories of Roy what a, and of course uh, Kathy, uh, the Everly brothers I have a picture somewhere on my desk here of my daughter, Natalie, giving them the Legends of the Jukebox Award. They were legends of the jukebox, which I'd always wanted to be because once upon a time, there was a jukebox where you could put money in it and everybody else in the room listened for free and you didn't go and ask them for any money. And so I could, I could, both of those, can I do 24 hours of the Everly Brothers and then 24 hours of Pretty Woman because I like the guitar sure. on that. We'll give you that. Yeah. <laughs> or you can split it 12-12. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> it's, Kennedy, it's a George, George Kennedy playing the guitar on that road. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so good. All right. Here's the next one. Would you rather ooh, never have your guitar go out of tune or never break another guitar string? <sighs> I like breaking guitar strings because it gives you time to mess around and talk to the audience and, and you know, <laughs> something about old timers looking for chaos because they know that they can fix it is something that people, people who've been around a long time like something to, ooh, so you can be creative, um, improvis improvisational comedy. And uh, so I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go with, I'll never have my guitar go out of tune. Good choice. Oh, I Rather like that. Never yeah. have my guitar go out of tune. I like right. making strings. Oh. <laughs> I like that. That's fine. <laughs> All, All right. right. This is the last uh, one, last Danica. One? Yes. All right. Uh, last uh, one. Would you rather cover a song from the first band you ever saw or write a song based on your favorite movie? Huh. Well, you know, the first band I ever saw, I, I have trouble remember. You mean that I saw live? I saw the Beatles live in a field near my grandmother's. But, but the, I, I, they were already covering songs. The, the Beatles, when <laughs> yeah. Beatles first started, they didn't write songs. They just did other people's songs really, really well. And so I couldn't cover a song that they'd already covered. So I'm going to write a song based on my favorite movie. Now, what's my favorite movie? It's going to be a weird one. It'd be any any one of the Corn Brothers movies I would take. You know, maybe Ooh. any anything by the Corn Brothers. So, how about I write a song? Actually, I enjoyed Fargo, the TV series. So I write a song called Fargo because oh. it's got a country thing. Oh. And I'll put two vowels in there too. Yes. 